Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 18 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add teleporters. It's a good day, people. Let's get it on and popping. All right, so, you know, get your map ready. Right now, we're in Launcher, right over here. Now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to make a brand new map. That way, there's no um, edited scripts or anything like that. Now, you guys could just open up your regular map. It's fine. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make a brand new one. So this one, I'm going to call it ZM Episode 18. And template, ZM Mod Level. Press OK. All right, now I already have my scripts. You probably already have your scripts ready. All right, so navigate to where you want to add these scripts to, or at least add the teleporters to. You're going to highlight your map. You're going to right-click it. And you're going to go to Show Zone Folder. Click on that. And right now we're in the Zone Folder, Zone Source. So we're going to back out just one. It should be right in front of Zone Source. It should say your map name. Click on that. And you're going to see these four folders. Now what you want to do is you want to go over to Scripts. You want to go into ZM. And you, right now you're going to see two files. It's going to say your map name. One of them is going to say CSC, and the other one is going to say your map name, and it's going to be a GSC file. So what you want to do is you want to open up the GSC file. Double click on that. You know, if, uh, if you don't have Notepad++, you can just right click it, and then go over to Open With, and go to Notepad. And it opened it up. Now this is the GSC file information. Now there's two links in the description. You're going to have to download these two files, or at least these two raw files. One of them is going to be Harry's Black Ops 21 Teleporter Prefabs. And the other one is going to be Harry's 21 Teleporter Scripts. Now, make sure you have those two downloaded. Of course, the Harry's Teleporter Prefabs, you're going to double click on that. It's going to show you an underscore prefabs folder. What you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your Black Ops 3. You know, if you don't know where it is, it's local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Black Ops 3. So once you're in the root folder, you're going to want to go into map source. And you're going to see the prefabs folder, same one you have here. Now, what you want to do is you want to drag this over, but drag it over to the white spot, you know, an empty area. Now, I already have the files. That's why it's asking me to replace it. If it does that to you too, just click OK. That's fine. All right, that part is done. All right, so getting back to the zone source. I mean the GSC file. So right now, this is the GSC file. In the description, I'm also going to have some information that you're going to put into this GSC file, which is going to be hashtag using scripts slash ZM slash ZM underscore giant underscore teleporter semicolon so you're going to want to copy this there you go you know have your GSC file open and you see where it says pretty much the same thing hashtag using scripts we're just going to make a little area for it you know make sure it's in this area don't put it in the under the main function you want to like just put it in the middle I have a little spot for it so you can see it. All right, hit file, hit save. All right, that part is done. Now we're going to open up the zone source folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to launcher. And you're going to go over to your map. Same thing we did last time, but this time instead of going to show zone folder, we're going to go to edit zone file. Click on that. And it's going to open up a file. And it has this information right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the video description. You're going to copy these two lines of code now. Copy. And then just paste it in there. Doesn't matter where it is. If anything, just put it in the bottom. Hit file. Hit save. All right, cool. So that's pretty much done. Now, the last thing we have to do is put in the Harry's teleporter scripts. So open that up. And then we're going to go to um, 
where our GSC file was. So right click your map, go over to show zone folder again. Should have did that the last time. And then uh, back out one, go to scripts, go to ZM. And where we modified the files before, we're going to put in these two files also. So just drag it over and there you have it. All right, so now we could close it out and we can open up our map in Radiant. So right click it, go to open map in Radiant. There we go, let's do this. I'm also gonna have a traps video out today along with this one. So uh, it's a good day, people. All right, now I got my template map open. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, add in the prefabs. So open up your entity browser, press B on the keyboard. It's going to open up with this little area right over here. You're going to want to go over to MISC and you're going to want to go to prefab. So just drop a prefab. There you go. Now we're going to go into ZM and you're going to see Harry's Black Ops 21 prefabs. Click into that one. It's going to say teleporters, go in there and we're going to drop in all of these prefabs. We're going to start off with black box. Then we'll click on that one. Now this black box is where you're going to teleport to when you use one of the teleporters. So I'm not sure if you can put this outside of your, um, your uh, start zone volume or any volume. So we're going to leave it inside of the start zone volume. Just make sure it's in there. There you go. But of course, you would want to put this outside your map. You don't want to see that black box. Come on now. All right. So let me uh, drop in another prefab. Go to ZM. Go to Harry's. Go to Teleporters. Now I'm going to drop in Mainframe. Click on that. And this is the pad that you're going to be activating the mainframes with. So let me pop that over here. Bring it down. There we go. That's cool. Now, just in case this red struck that's next to the mainframe, this one is going to be the power up spawns. So if you want to move the power up spawns, just select the mainframe, go over to prefabs and go to stamp prefab that way you can move around any of the pieces hit escape okay all right so that part is done let's drop in another prefab oh let me deselect it and drop another one go to zm go to harry's go to teleporters and now we're going to put in the pack a punch cage double click on that and here it is that's where you're going to put in your pack a punch Every time you activate one of the mainframes, the door is going to open up. So once you activate all three of the mainframes, uh, this door will be gone and you'll be able to get into the Pack-a-Punch. Of course, you do have to put the Pack-a-Punch in yourself. Like just, you know, select the prefab and put it in there and you're good to go. All right, so that's good. Now let me just drop in the other three. Let me drop in the mainframes. Uh, Harry's, Teleporters, and Teleporter Zero. That's the one I'm putting in now. Rotate this one. Make sure it's not in the ground. There we go. Hit Escape. All right, now let me add in the other two. ZM, Harry's, Teleporter, Teleport One. Rotate it. it up a little bit so it's not in the ground there you go all right now one more and we're done now of course you do have to have the power switch in order to get this working so you know make sure you have the power switch in your map let me harry's teleporters and teleporter 2 rotate this one here it is And hit escape. All right, cool. So now we already have everything to get the teleporters running. So I'm going to save the map, go to file, go to save, exit out, and I'm going to compile my map.
There we go. And it's that simple. Hey, let me not uh, count my chickens before they hatch, just in case this doesn't work. But uh, it should work. I've already tried it. Let's just let it compile, and we can check it out in action. I'm also going to come out with a advanced lights tutorial. I've noticed a lot of people are wondering how to make different types of lights, you know, and how to make it um, reflect and, you know, point at a certain angle. So that video should be coming out within maybe tomorrow because uh, I still have to do my traps video. But like I said, depending on when you're watching this video, it might already be out. You know, just make sure you're subscribed and, you know, you'll be able to get notified whenever it's out. All right, so it's almost done. Let's just give it a few more seconds. There we go. All right, cool. All right, let me go to Steam. Launch this bad boy. There we go. Let me turn on my control because uh, I'm going to have to get some points to show you guys how the teleporters are working. Cost money, people. Now remember, all the information I'm going to have down in the description. You know, I'm going to have the two links for the prefabs and the link for the scripts. And in the description, I'm going to have what information you're going to put in. So here we go. There's all the teleporter machines. All right, now when I get on the pad, it says, oh, the power has to be on first. So let's turn on the power. Now it says need to activate teleporter. All right, so I'm gonna go over the first one. Doesn't matter which one you go to first. Hit that. You get the little timer on the side. And here we go. Now we should see the power up show up, and it'll kill a few zombies for us. There we go. There we go, baby. That's what I'm. Double do. points. All right, let me do the other two. Let me also try to make some money so I can actually do an actual teleport. Alright, that's the second one. I'll save that. Alright, let me get the last one. Now we have a chance to teleport. So uh, let's get this power up. Perfect. And I'll go to whichever one. And as you can see, the pack a punch door is gone. So now you can go in, get the pack a punch, pack a punch your weapon, and there you go. All right, so now let's teleport. As you can see, we're going to teleport into that black box over there, and it's going to, you know, give us the effects. Oh, that's cool. And bow. There we go. Teleported. Now, every time you teleport, it's going to give you a different FX. So, don't worry about having the same old one. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.